Hello to all my crafty friends. This is Sensuous One, and I'm here to share my entry for Cindy, who is Cindy for Kiddos, for her 450 plus subby. Uh, I cannot talk. 450 plus subby giveaway challenge. Okay, yes, it's late. I should be in bed, but I'm up crafting. Okay. So the first mold. Um, first, let me start with this. My molds are made from this, um, the amazing mold putty, parts A and B. That's what I use to make my molds. And my molds are um, filled with acrylic, the type of acrylic you use for your nails. Um, the first mold that I made was, um, you'll see when I show you, but it's this space is kind of small and clay would not have worked in there so this is just a jar that I had I reused repurposed this has my um, liquid in it for the um, acrylic and this is the acrylic that I used it's just a Sally Hansen um, clear acrylic use that along with some these um glitter mixes that I made. I put mold mix on top of mine so that I know that I have already mixed acrylic with it. So you can just take some regular acrylic um, and mix it with your glitter. I'll show you an example of the glitter. This is just the raw glitter. Um, this is actually one of the blues that I use in one of my other colors over there. But when I mix my glitter and my acrylic, I do a two to one ratio. Two being the acrylic powder and one being the actual raw glitter. So once you've made your mix, this one here is like a snow white color, kind of. I have that color. I have what's left of this blue. It's mixed with acrylic. And again, this was the blue from um, this container here. So that's the white, blue. Also made one in pink, and I made one in this green. And these are all fine glitters that I used. Okay, so those are all of the um, the supplies, and I also used one of these in one of my um. Well, this is the um, Recollections Ocean uh, Microbeads. And I also use the Recollections Cricut uh, Microbeads. It's like a greenish color. Oh, they're sticking. But yeah, they're microbeads. Alright. So, the first mold is made from this flower. This flower used to be inside of a, like one of those glass domes. It said Beauty and the Beast, and it had this pretty rose laying inside of it. And no, I didn't break it to get the rose out. My baby girl actually dropped it. And um, the rose broke off. So, I kept it to repurpose it, and I made a mold out of it. It's really, I don't know if you can see all the dimensions on it. I think it's really pretty. So, that's the flower I used. And this is what the mold looks like. <coughs> that's the flower and that's the mold. And as you see, I don't know which way I had it in here. But, it was kind of like, you know, it was down in there. And when you pull it out, um, as you can see, the space is really tight. So you have to have something that's going to seep down in all the cracks. So that's why I use the, um, the nail acrylic. So that's the mold. That's the flower. Move this stuff. And that's the mold and that's the flower. And I've made four um, flowers. The first two I'll show you 
are these two? Sorry, out of frame. There's one in this white, the white color that I showed you. This is the pink one that I showed you. Now, these are made with acrylic, and then they were glazed with this um, heat cured UV top coat. I originally got this for my nails, but I did not like the way um, it turned out. So, I just used it for like my um, cabochons and um, embellishments that I make out of acrylic to you know give them a, a shine and a finished coat on them. So that's what I did to these. That's the pink and the white one. And then inside of the mold, I sprinkled some of the microbeads and then put acrylic for the blue and the green. So on the blue one you can see up here there's some microbeads in like on the tips of the flower petals and also on the green one here. So I made those. I hope it's coming out clear. It was kind of blurry. But that's the green and the blue. And then the second mold I did. This is the mold. And this is the piece that I molded out of. And this is in my stash. It came off of something, obviously, because there's glue on the back. I just can't remember where it came from. But, um, I made a mold out of it. And that is that. And then I just made one, just to see how it will look. And I used some of the blue, um, glitter that I made. A little hint of the green on the petals right here and here and then I used the white color for the flower and then of course once it dried I glazed it and cured it under the light with this um, UV top coat this is the front and this is the back of it so I thought those came out really nice uh oh lost it thought this came out really nice and it's like a little flower cameo. So, those are my pieces. Um, this mold goes to that. And these are the four flowers. And this mold goes here. And that is a cameo for that one. Um, I think I covered everything. If I miss anything... You guys are welcome to leave me any questions or comments you may have below. And don't forget to go over and check out Cindy's giveaway. And Cindy, um, these items will be going out, <clears throat> excuse me, going out to you in the morning. It's like, what time is it now? It's like 2 a.m., so they'll be going out to you later. And I thank everyone for watching. Bye.